Hi there. This piece of mild steel is 3 8 by 1 inch and a little more than 5 inches long. This is my first time making this sort of hook. I sometimes like to do a rough drawing of the item and order of the steps I think would be best. A lot can be accomplished by visualizing how you'll go about making whatever item. I need to give Bruce Butcher a shout out for his latest donation. Thanks very much. This eye grab hook differs from a clevis hook in that it has a single eye, whereas a clevis hook has a U-shape with holes on each side where a bolt or cotter pin is inserted. This old worn down punch works well as a drift. This is a new tool, just a handheld drift I had made with a long round taper. Should be a few inches longer, but it works. This drift is made from D2 steel. You can see the eye is a little bit off-center. I can correct that some by cooling the thinner side and continuing to drift a little bit more. My usual jumping anvil. I'm not looking for perfection on this first try at an eye grab hook.
This relatively simple project has really caught my interest. I can already see how I can improve upon this, and I think this would make a cool, if not different, sort of gift item. The hardest part of this is bending along the thickest section of material. For me, this is slow on the go. I need to make a better tongue for this and come up with a better bending method. Back to old Jumpy. An eye grab hook's U-bend is elongated, and the opening should be fairly narrow. It should be a little wider at the bottom of the U-bend, but it'll do. I'll definitely do this one again and try some variations. So there it is. I really enjoy projects like this. Catch you guys next time.